let's take a look at weighted means. Now, a weighted mean is a mean that's calculated where some of the data points are worth more than others. The most common place that you're going to come across a weighted mean is when you're looking at marks for a class. When you look at things, that final exam, that's usually worth a lot of marks, whereas little assignments throughout the course of the semester aren't worth as much. You may get a, you know, an 80% on both of them, but that 80 on that final exam counts as more than that 80 does on a little check-in question. So the formula for a weighted mean is to calculate your weighted mean, you take the item times its weight, plus the next item times its weight, plus the next item times its weight, and so on and so on and so on. So a couple little details on that formula. Weight is always percent as a decimal. And all the weights should add up to 100% or 1. All the weights should add up to 100%. Let's calculate one here so we can see how this works. So, starting here with this question. So Karina is looking at her final grade. Uh, all the assignments are worth 15% altogether. Each quiz is worth 5%. The presentation is worth 25%. And the final exam is worth 45%. Ooh, that's a nasty final exam. And then down here, it lists what she got on each of her marks. Now to keep everything consistent, I'm gonna convert all of those marks over into percents. So some of that's already easy to figure out and calculate it. For example, our presentation, that's already 85%. Her final exam, that's already, as a percent, 86%. Each of her quizzes, well, this one's 100%, that's a good one. That's 70%, and that's 70%. All I really did there was top divided by the bottom. It's her assignment that's going to throw us off a little bit. Let's figure that out. If we look at the way the question is set up, assignments are worth 15% altogether. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of our assignments together to calculate and turn that into a percent. So let's do that. So when we've got our assignments, we've got one is an eight out of 10, one is a 6.5 out of 10, and one is a 16 out of 20. Now this is not, the, we're not gonna add fractions together the proper way. What I know is we've got a total of 40 marks, and if I add the total marks that she achieved, she got 30.5 out of 40. Now that's not proper fraction adding, but that's how we would add the marks on this. In total, if I do 30.5 divided by 40, we end up with 0 0.76 or 76%. We'll put this up here overall got is 76 percent. All right, to calculate our weighted mean, let's start putting all of our items in. First thing we're going to worry, uh, do is, are those assignments? So we have the item times the weight. So the item, we got a total of 76 percent on her assignments, and that has a weight of 15 percent, so 0 0.15. Plus the next item, which is her quizzes, and each quiz is worth 5%. So first quiz she got, she got 100%. And if it's worth 5% weight, 0 0.05. Next quiz was a 70%. 
that's going to be times 0 0.05. Next quiz was, oh, don't forget the plus in between. Remember, we're adding each set, each piece together. Second quiz was 70%, also got uh, worth 0 0.05, so 5%. Next step is her presentation. This is a bigger piece with a plus sign. This presentation she got an 85% on, and the weight of that presentation was 25%, so 0 0.25. And last but not least is her final exam, which she got an 86%, and it has a weight of 45%, so 0 0.45. If I were to label what each of these is, this is the assignments. This one right here is quiz number one. This is quiz two. This is quiz three. This is the presentation. This last one right here is the final exam. All right, let's start doing the math on these. 76% times 0 .0, or 0 0.15 gives me 11.4. 100 uh, percent times 0 0.5 gives me 5. This next one, when I add it, multiply them together, I get 3.5. This one is 3.5. Presentation is worth a total of 21.25 marks. And the final exam is worth 38.7. Now before I go any further, let's look at a couple of things here. The presentation and the final exam, Karina got pretty close to the same mark. They both, you know, one's an 85, one's an 86. But because they have different weights, they factor into her final mark differently. The presentation was only worth 25%. So she had, that presentation added 21.25 marks to her final mark. Whereas the final exam was worth 45%. So that 86% added in 38.7 marks towards her final. The final had a higher weight, so with that particular mark, added more marks into the final mark. Okay. Higher weight makes has a larger effect. All right, if we continue on, her final mark. If I add all these numbers together, she ends up with, and we'll round it off to one decimal place, 83.4%. That is our final weighted mean.